You know, I really wish you could learn firebending like in real life. Well, I mean, you can. Um, what? Well, technically, you can learn firebending. Explain. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators in the superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel and for anyone that's been a fan of the channel for any long period of time, you know that Avatar is one of, if not my absolute favorite show. Like out of every show out there, Avatar is number one. So as the Martial Arts Explained series comes back into full swing, let's jump straight in to the style that represents firebending in the Avatar show. And that style is Northern Shaolin Kung Fu. While I have your attention, I just want to let you know that my goal is to reach 75,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you want to help me reach that goal, then all you got to do is give me that HBO special. What is the HBO special? Well, I'll tell you. It is the Help a Brother Out special. And so, help a brother out, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, you know, comment, do all those things, because it really does help a brother out. But back to the subject at hand, Northern Shaolin Kung Fu refers to the external martial arts of the Northern China, specifically the Northern Shaolin Monastery in Henan. Really hope I'm pronouncing that right. This monastery in Henan is actually the original Shaolin Monastery, and the monks that lived there began to practice the military style martial arts sometime during the Tang Dynasty between years 618 and 970. But they didn't truly find their call to fame until they came to the aid of the future emperor Li Shamin in his struggles against the rebellion. These monks were primarily known for their skills with the spear and staff techniques and eventually added unarmed combat as well. And I find that really interesting because it's actually in the opposite order for most martial arts styles. Most martial arts will actually teach unarmed combat first and then transition to weapons and so it's just really interesting to see something do it the exact opposite way. But as the reputation of the Shaolin monks and their martial art grew, the name became synonymous with martial arts in general, regardless of whether or not a practitioner could trace their origins back to the actual monastery or not. As a result of this, the Shaolin name was applied to many other Buddhist temples that had a strong martial art reputation. And today, Northern Shaolin martial arts consists of many different sub-styles, such as Baji Kwan, Eagle Claw, Praying Mantis, which you may know from Kung Fu Panda, Taji Kwan, which I believe turned into Tai Chi, which is waterbending. And Bagua Zeng, or Bagua, which turned into airbending. Freedom is just as essential as air. And without it, there is no life. However, firebending focused more on Shaolin Quan. As far as the curriculum goes for this style of martial arts, it falls under one of three different classifications. Basic skills include stamina, flexibility, and balance. This is designed to improve the body's ability to do complex and difficult martial arts maneuvers and movements. These are generally known as skills for children to practice. Power skills focuses on meditation. Inner meditation is where the practitioner is just sitting still, and the external meditation is is when the practitioner is in a more dynamic pose, like resting on top of spears. Which is, you know, crazy impressive when you think about it. And lastly, combat skills, including various barehanded and weapon-based combat techniques. And for Shaolin Quan specifically, this would consist of powerful and aggressive hand and foot strikes, much like you see in The Last Airbender. Now with Shaolin Kung Fu, there are many different sub-styles that I could go over, and there is no way I could go over them all in one video. So, let me know down in the comments what you think I should do next. Maybe we should do the drunken style that I know a ton of you love, so we can cover that. Or maybe we can go over something completely different like, you know, the Zulu stick fighting. That would be pretty cool. Um, the Zulu what now? Oh, you heard me. Zulu stick fighting. It's dope. But either way, whatever you guys want to see next, let me know down in the comments below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.